Hey there, Pisces. It's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How's everybody doing? This is a mid-month bonus because I have been a bad YouTube creator. I've just been so busy. I've had three different clients fly me to three different places all across the country um, to do personal parties for them. Okay. And, um, I've just been super busy and it's been a struggle for me to get up those first of the month videos. So I apologize that they were so late. So I'm doing mid month bonuses for my top ranking videos that I put out at the first of the month and Pisces is on the top of the list. Okay. I too am Pisces. I am a Taurus sun sign, Pisces rising, Pisces moon, Pisces Venus. So I have tons and tons of Pisces swimming around all inside of my head and my emotions. Okay. And, um, I identify with Pisces a lot. So Pisces, this is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. This is not a reading for you as much as you may see yourself in this reading and resonate with this reading. Everybody's journey and story is different. This is a general forecast for the sign of Pisces, 80% chance in your area, right? But you might not be in the area. You might be across town and it's, 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 it's thundering and raining on your side of town and there's rainbows and, and butterflies on the other side of town and it just doesn't hit you. So, okay. It's not your reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deep thoughts with Dana. Um, I highly encourage you to get your cards read by somebody that you trust, whether it's me or anybody else. If you need more wisdom, guidance, understanding, affirmation, confirmation um, about anything that you hear in this reading or any other reading on YouTube. Okay. All right. Pisces. Pisces. You enter into this reading with the happiness card. Happiness to the lovers happiness to the lovers, right? In this card, happiness is the nine of cups and the lovers is, well, of course, the lovers card, right? So happiness to a love situation, some type, it doesn't have to be love, like romantic love, but it's some type of very important relationship in your life. Happiness, lovers. What's this all about? Happiness is clarified by strength. So if there's happiness on the table, why do you have to have strength, right? That's what I asked anyway. And my answer was because there is a burden and a struggle attached to this happiness. Somehow, some way, there is a burden and a struggle attached to achieving happiness in a significant relationship in your life. To the three of pentacles in, rever in reverse, because there is a lack of teamwork and collaboration between the two of you or the lot of you at the moment. Lack of teamwork and collaboration to death, but now transformation is on the table. Somehow, some way, this, whatever this is right here, this lack of teamwork and collaboration, the burden and the struggle, right? And the need for strength somehow, some way in the past, there has been an ending to this relationship where there is now happiness on the table. But now, now there is the onset of change and transformation in this relationship. What relationship? A very significant relationship in your life with the lover's card. This puts you in the energy of the hermit, right? Soul searching, introspection, really going inside and trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. What's really going on here, right? And I swear, and if you don't like it, you can just kind of boot yourself out of the channel right now. If it's offensive to you, I am not the person that you need to be connecting with. Okay. So, the hermit, right? Soul searching, introspection, trying to figure it out to the three of wands, trying to have some foresight as to what exactly is going on here. What is going on here, right? Well, the magician, there has been a manifestation of inspired action, potentially passionate messages, 
um, there has been the manifestation of inspired action from a King of Wands character. Male, female, it doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, they show up later on in this reading as the Queen of Wands, okay? But this character has brought messages, passionate action, inspired action, manifestation. This King of Wands has manifested inspired action towards you, right? And this, this is why you're in the Hermit energy. You're like, what? What, 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 what? <laughs> in the Hermit energy, completely and totally just, just, just going inside, doing some soul searching and some introspection because the message of that King of Wands to you, Pisces, is success. The message is success to the Ace of Wands, an inspired, passionate, creative, potentially amazing relationship between the two of you, right? He wants to, he, she, he, because it's the king of wands, right? Is sending messages of, of passion, of wanting to create a relationship between the two of you, right? Success. That is what's on the table. Well, Pisces, being Pisces, is being all prudent about it, right? In the hermit energy, being prudent, trying to use a great amount of discernment to figure out what the best course of action is to take in this particular situation. Judgment comes in. This talks about self-doubt. It also talks about ignoring the call, right? So I think that's kind of what you're tossing around here, Pisces, is do I even respond? Do I even engage? Do I even do anything at all, right? It's also about self-doubt and, and being a, a, your own worst critic, right? It's, it's doubt all the way around. And it's, it's questioning whether you should even answer the call of this King of Wands. To the hangman in reverse, this is resistance indecision and stalling and that's what you're doing in the hermit energy right you you're, you're you're processing right so you're not really even answering the call right so that's what that judgment card means right there is that you're not answering the call you're using prudence and discernment to try to come to an understanding of what exactly is happening queen of wands right i said he showed up later as the queen the queen of wands when it comes to this king of wands, queen of wands, this fiery character, whether it's a fire sign or not, is absolutely irrelevant. You know who this is, no matter what their star sign is, you know who this is, okay? And you're also considering with this queen of wands, um, the achievement and the, su 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 the achievement and the success that could be um, created in the situation, right? You're, you're considering everything to the page of Pentacles. I'm sorry, to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is about, go straight here, down. This is about limited success or reward in the past and lack of a long-term vision. So these, all these cards right here are saying that you're very, being very careful about how you move forward in this situation. Very, very careful about how you move forward in this situation. Again, what's on the table? Passionate communication with the Knight of Wands. Inspired action. Passionate communication coming through to you about the Ace of, of Discs, the Ace of Pentacles, manifesting a brand new opportunity. Clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Same card, different deck. Ace of Discs, Ace of Pentacles. What's on the table is the, the manifestation of a brand new opportunity that is rooted in security. Um, that's what's on the table, Pisces. That's what's being offered to you by this King of Wands, Queen of Wands personality. Okay, That's what's being offered. Brand new opportunity, brand new start. However, Pisces, failure is in the center of your reading. Failure. Why? Why failure, right? The seven of discs. Why failure? Well, failure because when it comes to reuniting or 
I should say more specifically when it comes to reconciling your differences with this person, you're not very optimistic, right? You're not very optimistic. However, there is truth that is spoken about the conflict, the betrayal, the deception, the shady behavior from the past. There is truth that is spoken about the shady behavior from the past, right? So you start out in the center of your reading. This whole reading revolves around your feelings of failure, right? Just, I don't think it can make, I don't think it can happen. Not real sure if I want to go here again, right? because you're not sure that you can reconcile your differences. You're not very optimistic that it's going to go in the direction that you need it to go. However, somebody comes in and speaks truth about the conflict, the betrayal, the shady behavior, the mind games in, of the past. Somebody speaks, there's just somebody, that this, this, this character, right, that is initiating this whole reading is speaking their truth about what happened in the past, right? This brings you to the two, I'm sorry, yeah, to the two of cups, love, right? It brings you um, and to, to, to the realization that what's being offered is a love relationship. A unified partnership, a love relationship is on the table. The Ace of Pentacles, right? Manifestation of new opportunities, truth being spoken, inspired action being taken towards you, wanting to transition from an ending to a beginning. Um, just, I mean, there's just like serious new beginnings all over this first part of the reading, right? And it's all for a Two of Cups relationship, a unified partnership or a love relationship. The moon in reverse says that this truth that was spoken about all the conflict in the past helps you to release fear and deal with your repressed emotions. In the hangman energy, processing everything that has just gone down, processing everything, not doing anything, but processing it. Oops, wrong placement. Nope, that was the right placement. Processing it because of oppression. This is the Ten of Swords in this deck. Oppression. This is talking about deception, betrayal, endings, crisis, right? That's all you seem to be able to grab onto, Pisces, is what happened in the past, right? You're not really sure if you're willing to give up um, the memories from the past. The Fool in Reverse says that you're thinking in this hangman energy that perhaps this is just foolish, that this is naive, it's reckless, it's just... It's just foolish to even entertain the whole thing. The world card. It's foolish to just to, to, to end this cycle. It's foolish to start a new cycle in this situation. It's just not realistic. The hermit in reverse. Disconnection and withdrawal, right? Because I get the feeling that you haven't, to the Six of Pentacles, given and received with this person in quite a minute right? Quite a while. There's been no giving, no receiving, and, and there's been withdrawal and disconnection between the two of you um, for God knows how long. And the Eight of Swords says that you are in your mind trying to figure out what action it is that you need to take that will change this situation one way or the other. What do you need to do? What do you want to do? What is it that you want to accomplish in this situation? Death. An ending. But a change and a transformation too. An ending, a change, a transformation. How do I know that? Because it's clarified by the Page of Wands. Page of Pentacles. It's clarified by the Page of Pentacles, right? It's clarified by manifestation of something new, right? So death comes in and says, in this hanged man energy, processing all of everything that we just talked about, right? Processing all of that, you come 
to the decision that, okay, let's end the way things were before. Let's change the dynamics and let's transform this relationship. Let's manifest transformation in this relationship. Victory, the six of wands, victory, right? Brings on a sense of victory, right? To the knight of swords in reverse with a disregard for consequences, clarified by the queen of swords in reverse. This queen of swords in reverse is, is you being angry. It's you being defensive. It's you being stern and emotionless about the whole situation. Hence the hanging around and not doing anything about it, right? Stern and emotionless, but victory says that you are going to have a disregard for consequences. You are going to take action with a disregard for consequences. You're like, fuck it. Fuck it. What do I have to lose? I have everything to gain. I have nothing to lose because we haven't been engaging with one another. So I have nothing to lose. I have everything to gain if we can pull this out of the shitter, right? Queen of Swords, right? Regardless of your feelings about the past. Disregard for consequences to your feelings from the past. And the five of pentacles in reverse talks about coming out of spiritual poverty, coming out of spiritual poverty and having a little bit of optimism about where the potential of this could go. The ace of wands, again, second time, ace of wands. This is and this, this is taking inspired action to create a passionate, new, powerful beginning in your life. Lovers in reverse, breakup, misalignment of values to the empress in reverse. Absolutely zero creation happening. Zero creation happening. Okay, so taking inspired action to turn this lover's card from a misalignment of values into an alignment, a balance, and potentially a love relationship. Taking this empress in reverse where there is no creation happening and turning it upright into creation and abundance between the two of you. The Prince of Swords. So this is you returning communication. This is you with action oriented communication, right? About the Ace of Cups in reverse, about why things hadn't, hadn't made for you in the past, why there is um, a creative block, what your repressed emotions are about this situation. To the Two of Cups, why was there a misalignment of values? What do you need to do now to fix the misalignment of values? To the Nine of Swords, the, the anxiety, the pain, the depression, why, right? You want some answers, Pisces. You want some answers, right? And this, this Prince of Swords right here wants to know why there, there was nothing being created, why you should release your repressed emotions, why you should turn this into a new beginning in love in the upright. The misalignment of values, what happened in the past, the breakup, right? Why you should turn this into a two of cups relationship and the nine of swords, right? Why, why you've caused me so much anxiety. You've caused me so much pain, so much sorrow, so much grief. Why, why now? Why do you want to start this again? Why, why now? Well, here's why. Because the Prince of Cups, the Prince of Cups says that somebody is in touch with their intuition and their emotions, and they are now prepared to share. Okay, that's why. That's your answer to the whole why thing. Because somebody has reached a point of emotional maturity where they are now in touch with the way that they feel and they are in touch with their intuition and they are now prepared to share that with you. They're prepared to share their emotions with you. The Fool, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey. They're like Pisces, Pisces, I'm ready to share my feelings with you. 
I'm ready to share in a relationship with you, equal give and take. I want a new beginning and a new journey with you, Pisces. I want to take a quantum leap. I want to follow my heart's desire. And so does Pisces. Disappointment, right? Let's, 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 let's handle everything that happened in the past. Let's handle it all. Let's talk about it. Let's put it all on the table and clear the air so we can have a new beginning and a new journey with each other. Ten of Pentacles, wealth. Let's build a foundation. Let's create a future. Let's be strong in unity as a Two of Cups love relationship. And the Nine of Discs, gain. Nothing to lose everything to gain. What do you got to lose? You didn't have this before. Now it might work out, right? What do you have to lose? You do have something to lose, Pisces. I mean, you could get your feelings hurt again, right? This could all blow up in your face, right? But these cards, what's on the table is gain, all gain. There's nothing, there's nothing here that's saying that, that at least initially, that this is, that this is not something that is a positive thing. Completion, right? Completion of a cycle. This is the Four of Wands. Completion of a cycle. Two, the Ten of Cups. This is called satiety. This is about being gratified beyond capacity. This is what's on the table, Pisces. This is what you have the opportunity to achieve in this situation. This, my friend, is what you wanted in the first place, right? It's what you wanted in the first place, but never got. And now it's coming back around full circle. And the cards are saying, you have an opportunity for the Ten of Cups, Pisces. You going to take it? I don't know. There's no outcome here. You might take it. Might not take it. Might take it. I think you're going to take it. I think you're going to take it, Pisces. I think you're going to take it. And that's your reading, my friends. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it helped to bring you some kind of clarity, confirmation, direction, understanding. If you need more, if you need to make some kind of decision in your life, please reach out to myself or any other tarot card reader that floats your boat, okay? Reach out, get your cards read. Namaste.